Hi guys, this is Dr. G and welcome to WTW Science and today we're going to introduce you to the Vortex Generator and we'll display the power behind this very simple apparatus. All right, so I've got Lev who's going to help me with this experiment. I've placed a polystyrene cup on his head and the big question is how do we get the cup off his head without making contact with Lev or the cup itself or even throwing something at him. So what I've put together here is just a very simple contraption, boring my neighbor's bin about three years ago, and the reason why I couldn't return it, cut a hole out at the bottom there, piece of shower curtain at the top, and you change your bin into a vortex generator. So let's attempt this. Let me be very nervous. Let's basically see whether this is going to... Ah, you feel that? Yes. All right, excellent. So what moved the cup? And it's pretty obvious that the air moved the cup. Big question, how did the air move? Did it move in the form of a wave that looked something like this? Or did it go back and forth like what people would call a longitudinal wave? So I have a smoke machine over here. And I pull this device with some smoke and attempt to show you exactly what moved the cup. I think this is so cute. So we expect that to be circles, obviously they're circular like this as well, but an attempting question would be, a very attempting question would be, if I change the shape of the aperture from circle, say, to a triangle, what would be the shape of those rings? So, again, to the small machine, here we go, okay, pause, right, so would we be able to, right, let's start again there. Is it possible to produce triangular rings? How ridiculous would that be? So here we go. The triangular aperture, pulling this up with smoke. There we go. And go. And you notice something very interesting. Still circular, but something profound here. And that is, these rings are actually spinning. They're turning. And uh, they self-destruct a lot more quicker than the one with the circular aperture. So, all right. Now, this is a lot of fun. It's very exciting as well. You can produce one of these at home on a much smaller scale. Little little buddy bottle like this. A bottom portion of a balloon. And a smoke machine. If you don't have a smoke machine, you can use an incense stick to produce the smoke. And this is going to be so cool. And put your cell phones aside. And these are hours of fun. So here we go. So tiny little smoke rings. And, uh, and you learn to appreciate the whole idea of generating vortices or smoke rings, uh, which are very, very important, obviously, also in astrophysics, in the stability of stars, as these vortices plow through the stellar atmosphere. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.